Good morning, friends, and welcome to St. Mark's United Methodist Church. I'm so glad that you are with us for worship this morning. This is the second Sunday in the season of Lent. Lent is the 40-day season of preparation for Easter, um, and so we are right in the middle of it, and so I'm excited to greet you today, and I'm glad to welcome you to worship. I hope you'll take a moment and fill out the Connect card that you can find on the worship page of the website. Information's also there for how you can uh, give your online offering this morning uh, for how you can uh, get resources for your kiddos to participate in worship. So I hope you'll visit that website if you're not there already uh, and do all of those things as we gather. And as you're doing that, I'll want to make a few announcements about things going on here in the life of our church. Uh, last week, it was so wonderful to be together and worship uh, out on the lawn. If you were able to make it, it was so good to see you. Um, if you weren't able to make it, you can still turn in your commitment card online. The link is in your email this morning. Um, and we'll have another opportunity here in just a couple of weeks to be together on the lawn if you couldn't be at this one. So on March the 14th, we'll have communion on the lawn once again. I will also have Stations of the Cross here in this room that you can come and walk through. Uh, if you've never participated in Stations of the Cross before, um, they are artistic retellings of... Um, the story of Holy Week, of Jesus' arrest, uh, of his trial, his crucifixion, all the way to resurrection. And so um, we'll invite you to come walk those as, as you would like. Um, our curriculum that we're using for this season that we haven't gotten to start on as fully as we might have liked because of the storm uh, is called Again and Again and Again. You know that if you've been participating in the devotional guide from your Lent kit. Uh, if you didn't get one of those, we can definitely still get you one. Uh, just call the office. Um, but this is a um, set of Stations of the Cross meant to go along with that. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward to introducing you to them uh, on March the 14th. In addition to the Stations of the Cross, we'll have our usual worship times at 9, 10, and 11 a.m. out on the lawn. So uh, we'd love to see you there. We'll also, of course, have an online option uh, for those of you who aren't yet um, able or interested in coming to be with us in person. Uh, we totally get that too. Uh, so there'll definitely be an online worship option as well. That'll put us near the end of Lent on March 14th. Palm Sunday is on March the 28th. Sunday, March 28th, we'll also have worship on the lawn. It'll be a different kind of worship experience than what we've been doing on the lawn uh, before. There'll still be communion and music and all the things that you're used to, um, but we're going to um, move through the Holy Week story uh, in a way that we hope will be powerful for all ages uh, and all of our uh, folks here at St. Mark's. So I hope you'll join us for that as well. And then we'll also be on the lawn for Easter Sunday. Um, so we'd love to greet you on Easter Sunday. We'll also have our uh, traditional egg hunt. It'll be a little different this year. We're going to give you more details on all of this. Uh, you got some in newsletter this week, but we'll continue to send those details out. We'll also have our usual um, triduum, triduum services. The triduum is the three days, the great three days. So Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday. Those services will continue to be in the virtual format. Um, and so we'll give you more information about those uh, when the time comes. As we move through this Lenten season, uh, Lent was traditionally a time where the church um, prepared folks for baptism and welcomed new members into the family of God, and we want to do that as well. Um, so I know some of you have had, to had to, have had to cancel baptisms in the last year since we've been out of our building um, or, you know, have want to have your kiddos baptized or yourself baptized but haven't done it yet, um, if that is something that you are interested in for yourself, um, for your child, uh, we are going to be offering baptisms throughout the month of March. And you have two options for baptism. Um, one is a pre-recorded baptism on a Saturday that will be recorded in this room. Uh, you will be allowed to have family here. That number will be limited. Um, and so we'll get you all the information on that uh, if you sign up for a, a pre-recorded baptism. And then that baptism will be played uh, during one of our worship services in the month of March or April. You also could, we would love to do a baptiz baptisms at our in-person services. Uh, so we can do those on either March 14th or on Easter Sunday, April the 4th. And we can do those at the 9 a.m., the 10 a.m., or the 11 a.m. service, either of those days. So the pre-recorded dates are March 6th and March 27th. Those are both Saturdays. Uh, you can sign up for a 30-minute slot between the hours of 10 and noon. 
Friends, last week as we gathered for worship, one of the things that we collected in addition to regular offerings uh, were offerings of bottled water that we took to Heights House um, to support them as they continued to go without water. I'm happy to report that they are back up and running and had what they needed and we're very grateful for your donations. I was so impressed that uh, with so many of us still not having water either, uh, you were able to find and to bring so much extra. I took a whole, the whole back end of my uh, CRV was full. And so it was a, a joy to deliver that. Um, so there's lots of ways we can continue to serve our community. Um, for a lot of us, the crisis portion of this is ending, hopefully. I know many of you have home damage and other things that you're dealing with. Um, but the hunger and water crisis uh, in our city continues. Uh, as well as the housing crisis for folks who maybe didn't have a place to begin with, but who lost where they were living. A number of renters in our community had damage to their apartments and have very little recourse for finding new places to live. Um, and so I want to encourage you to keep finding places to serve and to donate. Um, we'll keep letting you know about needs as they come up. If you want to continue supporting Heights House, there's a new Facebook group called Friends of Heights House uh, where needs will be posted as they arise so that you can respond to them quickly. Uh, Kids Meals would still be glad to receive your donations. All of our partners that we work with in ministry uh, would be glad to receive financial donations, in-kind donations of food and water at many of them. Um, so FAM, Wesley Community Center, HIM Food Pantry um, are all responding in various ways in their own communities uh, to what is going on around us. And so I encourage you to find ways to volunteer your time if you're able. Um, you can also do that through the restoration team that continues to go and help with cleanup efforts in people's homes and apartments across the city. Um, so we'll provide as much information as we can, but if uh, you are wanting to volunteer your time and aren't sure what to do, um, I hope you'll get in touch with me and we'll find a place for you to connect. Friends, what a joy it is uh, to worship God this morning, uh, to worship God wherever we are and to know that God's presence is with us, uh, not just in this room, uh, but in every place we find ourselves. And so I invite you uh, to begin worship with me by going to God in prayer. Gracious God, we pray that your presence would be with us in all of the places that we are and that your Holy Spirit would unite our hearts and our spirits in worship this morning. We pray for the ways you continue to meet us and to show up for us uh, in new ways and in difficult times. And we pray that as we worship this morning, uh, you would open our hearts and minds to what you would say to us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 